be making basics. What's going on YouTube, Beat Making Basics, back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make your own mixing template in Logic Pro 10. Go ahead and jump right into the video, man. Smash that like button, all that good stuff, man, because this one's gonna be fire. Um, let's go ahead and start off here. Basically what we'll do is I'm gonna click on audio and what you're going to want to do is come to one of your beats that you already pretty much have the um, track outs or track stems for. So we'll go to my desktop here and I'm going to bring in um, one of my beats here. So we'll bring in this beat called Magnificent. I'm going to bring in the stems. I'm just going to bring it in just like this. All right. There's going to be two prompts. You're going to want to go ahead and click OK on both of those or actually just one prompt on this one. But uh, for the most part, what we'll do here, um, let me go ahead and get the BPM. I believe it's 126. Okay. So what you want to do here is pretty much just do some basic stuff um, for for your template. Um, the first thing I would say is to go ahead and put EQ on here. So typically, most tracks, especially depending on your genre, you're going to kind of have an idea of the genre that you're going to want to use your template for. But let's say this trap, you want to go ahead and get the EQ on all of these. And so you, if you want to use stock EQ, you can use a stock EQ. Or if you want to put in like a third party, you know, EQ, you can do that. For this demonstration, we'll do a stock EQ. And so what I'll do is, is on each individual instrument, I'll go ahead and do some EQ. All right. So let's just say we want to take a little bit there. We'll bring in this kick here. Looks like that kick's not coming in till right here. So make the little adjustments here and there to the EQ. Pretty much, yeah, just mix it. All right, so we'll bring in the snare now. Keep going down the list. And for the people who are new here, I'm taking out some of the uh, low end on these tracks to make room for the low end on some of the other tracks. So for instance, like that 808, if you take out some of the low ends on some of these melody tracks and also some of these, uh, you know, percussion tracks you can make some room for that 808 um, so I'm just going down that whole process of doing this um, I don't want to spend too much time on that because there's other things we got to do so I'll kind of just hold down option and drag and drop some of these um, and we can make some different adjustments as needed this is an orchestra stand sound I'll tell that back some um, and then I got my horns here okay so just for demonstration purposes let's say that this is pretty much and it should actually be pretty on point here. Let's check it out though. Okay, cool. So that's one thing you could do to start your uh, mixing template here. Another thing you could do is add other effects. Um, and you could also do go ahead and group this into different buses and, and uh, bus it out to different um, auxiliary tracks. So like for instance, for um, our drums here, like I can come over here to the 808. And I can go over here to this output, and then that, that can be my 808 bus or group or whatever. And we can do the rest with the rest of these drums. So I can come over here and just say, all right, I'm going to put all the rest of the drums in this other group. You, mind you, kind of do this based on what you like and how you mix. And then I'm also going to come over here and put these in here as a melody. Okay, go a step further. I also will go ahead and like create uh, sins where we can send like, you know, different effects like reverb and stuff here. So I'll put that over like say here. Let me name this melody. And 
I'll say reverb. Now I'm keeping this pretty simple because I don't want you to get overwhelmed on all the stuff that you would have to add, but this is something we could do here. We can come over here and now add like a reverb on here. Let me see. Put that space designer. And now um, we can come on here on any of these tracks and add this reverb to this send right here by clicking on that. So I will probably go ahead and also go ahead and enable the send on all of these. So all you have to do is to turn the level up. Um, some other things we could do here is we could also put like different effects on these auxiliary tracks. But this is a real simple way to get started. But you basically want to go ahead and just have all of everything ready to go here. I would also go ahead and turn this down like so. And now pretty much you're ready to go ahead and delete everything you have in here. And we can probably put this right around there. And then this is going to pretty much be your mixing template, y'all. Um, from here, what you would want to do is to save this as a template, okay? And I can name these better names as well. Um, I could take these numbers off, just put like 808, kick, snare, hat, open. This is an effect. I'll say rolls, rattle, um, I'll say melody, one, melody, two, horns. Okay, so now we have everything named properly. Um, we have everything kind of like bust out to some particular buses. And obviously there's more stuff that you can put on here, but just to get started, this is pretty much what you could do. And then the last step of this is just to go over here to the top and say um, save as template okay and then what you do is just give it a name and I'll just say basic mixing template stock and we can save that alright cool so now what we could do is anytime we want to um, you know use this template is first off already saved in um, Logic Pro 10 but all you have to do now is just open um, new from template. Okay. I'm not going to close this, but you pretty much now go over here to your templates. So say if it was right here, you just go all the way down here to new templates, and then you're going to look for your template here. Basic mixing template stock and push choose. Um, and now we have the template just open right back up. Now, like if you want to go ahead and bring your uh, tracks in, you can go back over here. You want to make sure that the right BPM is here. Drag the drop these like so. And obviously it's going to match right up. But let's say if it was a different beat, you know, you just put these on the particular tracks you have here. So I have an 808 kick. It's going to obviously match right up on this particular one. But like I said, you know, a different beat, you might do it different save time i'm just going to go ahead and just drag and drop everything right in place like this from here you can just go over here to track and push um delete use tracks and you can just start working on the levels okay for the most part that's what you want with your mixing template you want it to pretty much be a level type thing and you know, make it super simple save some time so we'll just start pushing some things up here reverb you know anyway y'all this is going to be today's video if you don't want to go through the trouble and hassle of creating your own template um, that's fine you know you can just go to my site beatmakingbasics.com grab the template there all right what i'll do is add a bonus okay as i'm going to actually include this template right here on our site as well and I'm going to include it for a whole lot cheaper than our premium t templates, all right? 
this is an added bonus this is something to help you but um, for the most part you all can take this video use it to instruct you on building your own templates or you can save time and get everything right by going to beatmakingbasis.com and downloading our templates there now by the way we also have full video courses that you can purchase and these video courses are jam-packed with a lot of information to help you improve your beats now each course has a full curriculum meaning that everything is organized has all the lessons and everything like that structured to help you achieve certain things I have a beat making in logic pro 10 course I got big beat mixing courses I got music theory courses drum programming courses man we got everything that you need um, especially if you're a beginner so head over to beatmakerbasis.com and cop yourself a course a kit a template something all right it's gonna help save you time in the long run because you're not gonna have to learn it on your own now obviously you can go and you know get enrolled um, excuse me subscribe to my channel we have hundreds of videos there but the courses and stuff like that will help accelerate your process a whole lot quicker anyway y'all appreciate you watching i will see you in the next one